some rope sausage in there, shrimp, uh, onions, and bell pepper, and cabbage, and some spices. Yummy, delicious. And we have a strawberry watermelon and pineapple strawberry flavored water. Who want a yummy bite? Oh, look at that. Oh, that looks so good. What's up, Yummy Bites? Welcome back to another episode of Yummy Bites TV. Y'all see it. Oh my God, it smells delectable, y'all. Um, we are drinking a strawberry watermelon and pineapple strawberry flavored water. Uh-huh. Yes, y'all. Mm. That is delicious, y'all. Oh my God. Um, Let's pray. Amen. Oh my God. Who is ready for this mother flipping mukbang? Let's do it, y'all. I might need my sauce, boss. Oh. Girl, what is, why is it, my hair look raggedy? Oh my God, that is too good. Mm-hmm. I knew this was gonna be delicious. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. The smoke from those rubber those sausage in there. Oh my god. One pop meal, y'all. Mmm. Delicious. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. Like this, don't overcook your um bell peppers or your cabbage. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I was supposed to have some cornbread on this plate, and I forgot it. But I honestly don't need it. Mm. 
Does anybody want a yummy bite? Like, what? Y'all, the flavors are so intense. Like, there's this smoky flavor from the sausage and the hot sauce. And it's flavoring the whole meal. It's just so good. Mmm. Absolutely. This is the one, not the two. I need to give me a t-shirt to say that. <laughs> oh my God. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Happy Mother Flipping Sunday. <clears throat> y'all let me know what y'all eating with me on this good Sunday. Y'all eating something healthy? <laughs> At least I'm not eating cheese today. Absolutely delicious, y'all. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Just what I need to put in my body. Mm -mm. Y'all, I didn't know it was going to be this good, honestly. I knew it looked good when I saw it on TikTok, but baby, the flavor. Y'all, does anybody else have problems with their shirt? Like, if you wear, like, a, a tube top like this, do you have problems with it flapping over? Like, y'all, I mean, I know why it's doing it, but... Why? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I have like these fat reserves right here <laughs> that make it flat down. But how can I make it not do that? Maybe I need some um, tape or something to put right there. I don't know. But it's annoying. I don't like it. <sighs> Woo! Oh, excuse me. Oh my gosh, excuse me. Mmm. Um, hey Troy, you sent me, I got your email, you sent me, um, like this treatment that I can use for my gray hairs. Um, so I was researching it and like, they don't have any, like, um, 
like no scientific type of like results that, that says that it's gonna like um permanently like remove the gray hair like they said that it's like a temporary type of thing girl i'm trying to like you know i was considering it at first now i was like i don't want nothing temporary um but thank you though for sending it to me because i had never even heard of that um product excuse me that product um but yeah i'm just gonna dye it girl i have some dye that i bought a long time ago and I have, t I believe I have two things of it. I'm just going to die and just hope for the best. You know what I'm saying? Like, it is what it is. I heard that you could uh, take, I think they said B12 for it. And it might, um, like, turn your hair back to its normal color. And I heard, honestly, that, that uh, gray hairs is from stress. Like, I, I should literally have them all over my head. Like, I should be just gray, period, with all the stress that I've been through. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. One day, I'm going to have to just accept that. But it ain't right now. Because I'm dying it. <clears throat> And honestly, I could see if I had, like, naturally black hair with grays. I'd probably wear it. But my hair is brown. Naturally, like, a lighter brown. With grays, uh, it just looks dirty, y'all. Honestly, it looks so dirty. Y'all haven't seen my hair, my real hair color. Because I have, like, light brown hair. Like a, like a, like a four, y'all. I remember when, um... I used to have, when I used to go to the uh, the hair store and get hair, I would have to get a number four because that's how light my real hair is, like my real color. Um, it hasn't even grown all the way back in yet, but when I did let it grow, um, I saw that brown and that gray and it was just, ew, I didn't like it at all. Uh-oh. Mmm. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all, I saw AD um, <clears throat> having an interview with somebody. Who was that? I mean, they are going on a world tour with these daggone interviews. Like, geez, Louise, it, for the people who watched Love is Blind before, is this like the most popular season or something? Because... This is my first time even, like, knowing about it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Um, it seems like they're really, really popular this season. But anyway, let me know. Is this, like, the most popular season? Mm. Mm I saw Jessica's uh, TikTok today, y'all. She was getting her hair done. She's so freaking cute. Mm. I think everybody's trying to, like, profit off of their, like, celebrity. <clears throat> I don't blame them. You know what I'm saying? Like, get all the money you can. Mmm. So, it looks like they're going to be in TikTok, y'all. Um, so, it has to go to the Senate next if, um, this, if, what did they say? If 50 senators vote no or something like that, y'all. Anyway, it's up to the senators in every state. Okay? And... If they all vote no, because we already know that uh, Joe Biden is going to sign it. So, that's we just know if, if it passes the Senate, it's over with. It's over with. And TikTok has six months to sell it. Six months, y'all. So, y'all get yourselves prepared and ready because, like, 
If y'all were the owner or the CEO of TikTok, would y'all sell it? I wouldn't. Like, <laughs> I wouldn't. Like, you know what I'm saying? Y'all just gonna have to get y'all's feelings together and move on and do something else. I'm not selling my business. Forget that. Mm -mm. I ain't selling it. I wonder if they make more money, though, in the U.S. versus other places. You know what I'm saying? Like, are we the majority? You know? I don't know. Mm. To me, it seems like we would make more money. Like, it would be a good thing to keep us. But, isn't that weird how the government can make somebody, make somebody sell their business in order to have it in the U.S.? Like, oh my God. They are something else, like, something else. It's a dirty game, boy. It's a dirty freaking game that you got to play. Like, don't mess around and get too much money. Oh, my God. Mmm. The kids are outside playing, y'all. <laughs> they are loud and on the way. Y'all probably on here. Mmm. So, y'all, yeah, come here. Okay. So, we have a basketball goal outside, right? The basketball goal was, uh, well, actually, it was originally Amaya's. And then, when Maya moved, we kind of made it Jaden's, you know, so he could play on it. But, the kids from the neighborhood start playing on it and stuff. Anyway, they tore it up. I, I showed y'all if you're on the family blog channel. They tore it up. And I want to get another one. And Marisha was talking about um, if we get one, we're not putting it out there. Well, where else are we going to freaking put it? He wants to put it in the driveway. There's going to be two cars in the driveway. It is not going to work in the driveway. Or he wants to put it out, out in the yard. Like, what? There's no concrete out there for anybody to bounce a ball. <sighs> Right, so would y'all put another one out there and just put do not touch or just tell them they cannot play on it because they tore up the other one? Like, what would y'all do? Let me know in the comments because that's kind of what I want to do. I want to get another one and just let them know y'all cannot play on this. Is I'm, I'm so sorry, but y'all tore up the other one. Y'all did not respect it. We've, we asked y'all several times. You know what I'm saying? They just didn't respect it. So, mm-hmm. I want to get another one so Jay can be able to, you know, play on it and have fun and not have to play on an old raggedy one. <clears throat> I wonder why kids do that. Like, one time, y'all, I looked out the window and saw somebody hanging from it like a freaking monkey. I was like, get out off of that right now. I couldn't believe it. Like, how are you going to do somebody else's property like that? You know, like... I don't know. I just didn't. I don't remember tearing up people's stuff when I was a kid. When we was outside, like never. Like we knew better than that. It's crazy. No, I know they like to have fun, but you can have fun without tearing folks' stuff up. <clears throat> Y'all, this is good. I got some Brussels sprouts. Um. I'm trying to see what I'm going to do with them. I should have got some mushrooms. But mushrooms, they be going bad so fast. Mm. So I guess, y'all, I'm doing a low-carb life right now. <clears throat> but still eating keto. If you understand what I mean. <laughs> So, yeah, until I decide I want to get back into ketosis, but not right now, honestly. <laughs> not right now, girl. Mm. Mm. 
You know what? I got a couple things so it be out of the day. Um, oh! Y'all, there was another Boeing plane. Um, where, where is it? Um, is this it? No. Oh. Um, okay, but listen to this, though. Um, this girl, she made a video about, um, airlines that are not using the Boeing 737 MAX in the United States, okay? So listen to these for everybody who is traveling. Because this is serious, y'all. They just had another accident where, um, if I can find it, hold on. Allegiant Air, Delta, Frontier Airlines listen. are not using a Boeing 737 MAX in the United States. Allegiant listen. Air, Delta, Frontier Airlines, Avello, Hawaiian Airlines, JetBlue, Spirit Airlines, and Sun Country Airlines. Hold on. It says Allegiant has 50 orders of Boeing 737 MAX. So Deliveries were expected to begin in 2023. And Delta Airlines has 100 orders of Boeing 737 MAX deliveries to begin in 2025. In my opinion, I would just fly Spirit. And what does everybody say about Spirit? <laughs> I see nothing but videos about people um, on Spirit planes. And it looked like they in a freaking cell or something when they're sitting in their seat. Their knees is touching the, the seat in front of them. It just looks so uncomfortable it's like you have to sit up like this the seats don't even look like they have uh cushions on them yo i'm like what is up with spirit like but at least they don't use the boeing you know what i'm saying the boeing plane i don't know what kind of planes they use because honey them planes be having a lot of turbulence and people like i don't know mm. so yeah this you know just don't fly Oh no, dag on um, Boeing. Is this it? Hold up. All right, guys. So that ain't it. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Where is it? I guess maybe I didn't save it, y'all. Um. Okay. If something happened where a like a part of the plane just came off it was recently y'all let me know in the comments if you know what i'm talking about but yeah a part of the freaking plane just came off <clears throat> um all right so who's going to be watching um oh my god um real housewives of atlanta y'all know that nini's supposed to be coming back portia is coming back um, and I was wondering if Fab Phaedra was supposed to come back too. I don't know, but all right, guys. So we still don't know what's going on with Nene Leaks, except we do have a Candy is not coming back. She already said she wouldn't come back. Candy's boring. I'm sorry, but she is. It was time for her to go, in my opinion. It was time for her to go. All right, an update as to what she was doing in Dubai, right? So she went to Dubai for Steve Harvey's golf situation uh, probably oh. something for charity and when she went Portia Williams was there Cynthia Bailey went with Nene they all went together then they hung out with Cynthia went with Nene what so they cool now oh my god I cannot believe it I'm kind of happy though because I actually like their friendship you know what I'm saying like when it had first started like they was like the best of friends like I loved them together and I just did not like how Nene had did her how she would treat her and stuff like I didn't like that even though I love me some Nene I didn't like how she treated um how she treated Cynthia I didn't y'all let me know if y'all know what I'm talking about wives of Dubai well this was right after she did the interview with Bethany Frankel and she told Bethany that her and Cynthia won't be friends again and that she can never trust her again now from that point right before going to Dubai she went on Bravo was following her the whole time, but she went on and started re-following Bravo, and she deleted any mention of the reality reckoning in any interviews with Bethany Frankel. All of the clips, all of the photos, all of it. Now Candy Burris is speaking out saying that she thinks that it would be great and polarizing to have Portia, Williams Cobadia, and Nene Leakes back on the show. I want to hear Okay, anyway. Oh, girl. <laughs> Y'all saw that. Anyway, they're going to be back on the show. Um, but I saw a, um, a TikTok that somebody made, I don't know if it's true or not, that Portia was telling the producers that, um, 
she doesn't want to film with Nene. I don't know what the problem is with them either because they used to be real close too. What is up? Is it Nene, y'all? Because like she be falling out with everybody. Literally, I think Nene done fell out with every single person that she's worked with on that show. Even though she's one of the most liked people. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, so Portia is really trying it. And honestly, hmm, which one would y'all rather? Portia or Nene? Y'all, uh, I don't know. I think I'd rather Nene. Honestly, um, I don't care about Portia and, and her husband because I don't like how Portia even got him. You know what I'm saying? Like, something in me does not like that about Portia, even though I, you know, like her. But what she did to that to that woman, first of all, it's going to come back on her little behind, okay? Um, and then she tried to act like she didn't do nothing wrong. You know what I'm saying? I don't like that either. But I think I'd rather have Nene. You know? I, like, I'd rather have Nene back. Besides, you know, Portia, if Portia want to play that game, like, she don't want to film with Nene. Girl, please. Like, are you kidding me? Anyway, um, what else did I want to, um, Carolina. talk to y'all about? What is this? Oh, no, not that. Hold up. I ain't gonna lie. Walmart over here. What is this? Oh, wait a minute. They're tripping, y'all. Check out what they selling. This don't make no sense. Did y'all see this? He says that he found this at Walmart. Look at this. Now, in Spanish, which this is probably Spanish, doesn't that mean black, negros? <laughs> doesn't that, that means black in Spanish. And and I do believe that those are, yeah, those are refried black beans. I think he was just trying to be funny because it says Negro. But have y'all ever seen a can that has that word on it? I haven't. I haven't. Anyway, Walmart is selling it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, America's largest discount retail chains is planning to shut down. Oh, y'all. Did y'all hear about this? First of all, I didn't know that, um... Dollar Tree owns Family Dollar. Did y'all know that? I had no freaking clue. Um, but they are planning to shut down, um, like, how many Family Dollar? Hold on, let me let y'all listen. About a thousand of its stores nation. A thousand. America's largest discount retail chain is planning to shut down about a thousand of a its stores thousand. nationwide. Dollar Tree said today it's closing 600 of its Family Dollar stores in the first half of this year. Another 400 Family Dollar and Dollar Tree locations will have their leases expire over the next few years, mostly because they're underperforming. One of America. Y'all, underperforming? Are you kidding me? Everybody goes to freaking uh, Dollar Tree and Family Dollar. Like, especially Dollar Tree. Everybody freaking goes there. Family Dollar is in a lot of the hoods. You know what I'm saying? They have affordable everything. Y'all know I be going. Okay? Like, whenever I go to, um, what was it? American Deli. Um, and what was it? South Park? I definitely stop by Family Dollar. Okay? And get tissue, napkins, like all kind of stuff that they have that is so freaking cheap. Like, I cannot believe that they are going to be closing their store. I hope they're not going to close that one over there or any of them over here, okay? Because, <laughs> are you kidding me? <laughs> and then they sell my favorite freaking bowls. Y'all, I'm going to have to go get me some bowls before they freaking close. I'm going to have to go get me some bowls. Y'all better go and get what y'all need because they may be closing yours in your neighborhood. So, make sure you check up on that um, and go and get the stuff that you need, honey. We need them. We really do for Christmas stuff. Well, the people who celebrate Christmas. I mean, that's where I would get all of my decorations from. Like, it's the cheapest. I can't believe they're going to be closing their stores. Wow. Anyway. um, Okay, so I wanted to know if y'all knew anything about this. Because I had no clue. And everybody talking about... Um, that they been new and they thought that everybody already knew this, y'all. Y'all, 
<laughs> Wayne Brady is gay. Did y'all know that? I had no clue. When he first of all, he's been married for the longest. Um, maybe he's not married now. Um, I'm thinking maybe he's divorced now. But what? Wayne Brady, y'all, didn't he used to um be on like SNL? Like I, I think I remember him on SNL. Um, he's a comedian. Like I did not know. Anyway, I think that he is a uh, bisexual because of what he's saying out here. Hold on. There are people that are in my life, people that I know from high school, that recently called me or hit me on Facebook. Yes, Facebook. Wayne, I've known you since we were seventeen. I never knew such and such. I saw your story. I'm coming out. This is how I felt. I've hit, hidden those things. Wow. The fact that in my, whatever my platform is, I can affect change. That's the good of coming out. And the other piece is, if I wanted to come with a date tonight, if I wanted to come with a guy, a girl, someone non-berry, non-binary, non non-binary, it doesn't matter. And that's what I think is the best part. By me coming well, he's going to fit right in with our Hollywood. He ain't got nothing to worry about. I know from high school that recently called me or hit me on Facebook. Yes, Facebook. Um, yeah. So let me know in the comments. Did y'all know about that? Because I had no clue. Like, I was shocked. I'm like, Wayne Brady? Because all I remember is that he was married and he has kids. But, of course, you can be married and have kids and, and still, you know what I'm saying, be in the closet. But when did he come out? Because, I, you know, I just I just didn't hear about it. <clears throat> I guess I don't have to hear about it in order for him to come out. But, um, okay, now this eclipse, y'all. What is really going on with the eclipse? Why do people have to um, have two weeks worth of food and all that? Listen to this. Today we're going to talk about what's going on in Oklahoma City and many other counties and states in America coming up in April. April. I just want to have this on your radar so you guys know what's going on, okay? There's an eclipse about to happen. Everybody's talking about it, but I want you guys to know what's going on behind the scenes as we get ready for this eclipse. I'm going to read you a couple I can't of wait, stories. Because I want to see I want what's going to happen. This stuff sink in a little bit. In Oklahoma, the National Guard will have guardsmen present for the total solar eclipse on April 8th. 27 members of an elite chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear unit will be housed residents are being urged to stock up with one to two weeks of food in advance of the event communication what? facilities could become overloaded possibly making cell phone calls difficult now here's the actual story from oklahoma and i'm going to read it right now okay <laughs> you guys i hope you guys are paying attention the oklahoma national guard will have guardsmen president in mclean county for the total solar eclipse on April 8th, County Emergency Management Director Cody McDonald told county commissioners, <laughs> it is estimated about 100,000 people may be in the county for the event. The 22, the 22 members of an elite chemical, biological, and radiological and nuclear unit <laughs> hmm, will be housed in Broken Bow in addition to up to 110 to 150 Oklahoma Highway Patrol troopers. There will be about 150 other first responders and volunteers with many staying at either the sports complex in Broken Bow or in former National Guard Armory. Like, they're not making this fun at all. <laughs> like, people, like, this is something, the eclipse is something that people get excited for. Like... What are y'all getting us ready for? What is going on? What is the eclipse going to do to us for four minutes? Like, it, it, like it's literally going to be for only like four minutes. They're doing all of that, spending all of that money for four minutes of what? What is going to happen? Y'all, I'm concerned. Are y'all concerned? Because I am. Because why? Why? They got to spend a lot of money to do all of what they're trying to do. Yeah. <clears throat> in Idabel, McDonald is seeking food and funding for feeding them. This is good stuff, man. 
He said that the federal government was turned down funding to feed them. The state troopers will be scattered throughout the county, he said. Residents are being urged to stock up with one or two weeks of food in advance of the event and have their fuel tanks full. Some parts of the county could have traffic and standstill, at least moving very slowly. It's also considered likely that communication facilities could become overloaded, possibly making cell phone service obsolete. Okay? That's from Oklahoma. Now, I want you guys to pay attention to what's going on here with this eclipse coming up. In Texas, they're hearing similar things. Texas County, I have another story out of Texas County, declare a state of emergency ahead of the total so solar eclipse. They've already declared it a state of emergency. In Belton, Texas, a judge in Texas County has ordered emergency measures in an effort to handle the hordes of total eclipse viewers who will descend on the state in April. The Bell County Judge David Blackburn issued a local disaster declaration on Wednesday after officials decided that they had to take extraordinary measures to keep residents and visitors safe what have we learned about keeping people safe why do we need to be kept safe that's what i'm trying to understand like what what's going to happen to where we wouldn't be safe but why aren't they telling us though you know <laughs> bell county and much of central texas are predicted to have some of the best views of the celestial event on april 8th celestial Judge Blackburn said officials are expecting Bell County's population of 400,000 to double, if not triple, in the days leading up to the eclipse. He fears that it could put a serious strain on the county's infrastructure. Now, I'm reading a lot of stories out there about this eclipse coming up. All right, I don't know if you guys are paying attention to it. Here are some of the cities that this eclipse is supposed to hit. They're, they're kind of outlining these cities where these are Is gonna everybody hit. not going to see the eclipse? It's just going to be in certain places? I, I thought everybody's supposed to see it. Hmm. Right. Nineveh, New York. Nineveh, Ohio. Nineveh, Texas. Nineveh, Virginia. Nineveh, Pennsylvania. Nineveh, Nova Scotia. And Nineveh, Indiana. And it, <laughs> do you guys know about Nineveh? No. What is Nineveh? In the Bible. I mean, do, is this all coincidence? Seriously. Is this all one big coincidence? April 7th is Easter. <laughs> Easter is the... The pagans, I don't know, if, did you guys ever do any homework about Easter? Do you know where dying eggs come from? The pagans would take blood and they would smear them on the eggs because the eggs represent fertility. Can you even imagine that you've been sold pagan ways into your Christian beliefs? You have. And we found out a long time ago and we dropped all of it. I, like, I just implore you to do your own homework and look this stuff up, okay? That's why Everything Murder Show don't want to celebrate Easter anymore. The enemy is here to steal, kill, and destroy, okay? And it's happening right in front of your face. Yeah. I just think this is totally uh, interesting, and I want you guys to be aware of what's going to be happening. I remember the last solar eclipse we yeah. had, YouTube was just starting out, kind of. I remember it was a... No, I don't know what he's talking about. Wow. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, anyway, I, take care of your families, y'all. Like, like, I don't even know what to say. They're saying to do these things for a reason. So, I would implore y'all to actually do it. Um... Fill up your gas tanks. Uh, I'm staying in the house. <laughs> I'm not going out because they are warning you for a reason. And why be out to see what that reason is? Mm -mm. Nope, nope, nope. Let's read y'all's comments. Let's read that comments. Y'all, YouTube been tripping. It's tripping right now. What in the world is wrong with this? Are you kidding me? <gasps> Y'all, it's something wrong with YouTube. That was weird. Like, everything is not coming. Y'all, the comments are not coming up. Y'all, the comments are not coming up. What? Okay, let me cut my phone off. Because I had to do this this morning, y'all. 
YouTube, it, certain parts of YouTube was like blurred out. And so I cut my phone off, cut it back on, and then, you know, everything came back. But it's doing it again. I'm, I don't know if it's YouTube or if it's just my phone. Have y'all been experiencing anything with YouTube? Let me know. This is weird. Maybe it's my phone. That is very strange. Okay, it's coming back on, y'all. Anyway, I forgot who it was that told me to um get a bob. Okay, so this is the bob that I had come in. This is a 14-inch bob because I don't know about the 12. Now, I may be able to do a 12 because the 12 will probably be what, right there? I think I'll be able to do a 12, but I wanted to see what the 14 would look like. Because I wasn't sure about a 12. But I think I, I can do a 12. Y'all tell me what y'all think about this 14, though. I actually want to know what y'all think about my hair today. I love it. I actually love it. I like the length. I think it's cute. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Come on, YouTube. Stop tripping now. Okay. We back in business. Maybe it's just my phone. Oh, God. Are you kidding me? What is up with this? Y'all, it's still tripping. Hold no. on. Oh, okay. Okay, so E. Troy um, says the reason you won't get the cheese pull out of the bag is because they put a flour to make sure the cheese don't stick together. Mmm. Somebody said that, they, that there's some type of wax, some type of waxy something on the cheese so it won't stick together. So is it flour or is it wax? I don't know. Um, and see... That's what happens when you, you know, try to be lazy about stuff. And then you, you know what I'm saying? You won't get the results that you want. Uh, Kizzy Cherie 7945 says, sucks because the rodeo ends on Sunday. Hope the weather cooperates. Then it's St. Patrick's Day. Who celebrates St. Patrick's Day? I never celebrate St. Patrick's Day. Um, B. Bogany OC2BJ says, good night, beautiful queen. That homemade Little Caesars. Crazy puffs and salad looks so delicious. Thanks for the awesome, amazing, beautiful video, Queen. I love your outfit and you look so gorgeous as always. Thank you, sis, for the awesome video. I hope you have a wonderful, blessed night. Thanks, sis. Love you. Love you, too. Thank you so much for commenting. I appreciate you. Uh, Kizzy Cherie 7945 says, I'm going to buy some tomorrow and see. I just think Little Caesars is very mid. Of course, girl. Little Caesars is mid. Like, they been mid. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> we was liking it when they were selling them $5 pieces. Y'all remember that? We stayed at Little Caesars, y'all, back in the day. Getting those $5 pieces and that crazy bread. Oh, my God. But they've kind of come up some because I see a lot of people eating their, um, was it their crazy bread with the um, jalapenos and cheese. And it looks so good. Like, oh my God. I wish I would have tried some before I went keto. But it's all good. Um, Riri Love 1962 says, please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure your notifications are on and set to all. Share if you care. Leave a comment or topic down below. Thanks and have a great day. Thank you, Riri. Thank you so much, sis. Y'all make sure y'all go do what she said. Nah. Um, and make sure y'all watch the previous video because it looked like the views were kind of low on the previous one. I don't know. Maybe I just haven't got around to it. I'm not sure. Um, Jolene, Jolene York 6540 says, hey, yummy. Hey, girl. So what I was wondering about is why did Clay look so uh, confident, confident like he was going to say I do and then break her heart? If it was me... I would never want to be friends with him. Lose my girl. Okay? Like, <laughs> he could have never done me like that and been friends with me. I probably would have still had feelings for him or whatever. But he would have had to tell me 
why? Like, why did you wait until we got up there with you? I think Clay knew he was going to say no. He knew that he was going to say no. Like, and that's what people were trying to get out of him. Like, you got all the way up. When did you decide that you were going to say no? Because he was like, he was all in. You know, when? When was that moment that you were going to say he cannot answer that question? It's like he kind of like deflects from it. Like, oh, it's so irritating. It's so irritating. Um... Uh, if it was me, I would never want to be friends with him. Lose my number. And yes, I will pray for Sierra and another thing. Um, why was Clay on the show if he felt like he needed more healing? He should have never even been on. Exactly. But you know what? Maybe he just realized that, um, you know, why he was on the show. You know what I'm saying? Maybe he realized it why he was on there. Maybe he realized, oh my God, I'm in over my head. I literally do not want to get married. I didn't came on this dag on me show. Or, you know, maybe he just went on there to be on TV. You know what I'm saying? That could have been it too. Because it was a lot of people that were on there just to be on TV. They wasn't really serious about getting married. You know what I'm saying? Um, So... I don't know. Uh, Sonya77353 says, hey, yummy. Hey, girl. Um, Etroy2045 says, girl, you are wearing that bodysuit. Thank you, girl. You look great. I saw the entire fit on the vlog channel. Thank you, sis. <laughs> I kind of love that um, bodysuit. And I've worn other bodysuits before. But it's something about that one that it just fit really good. You know what I'm saying? It, it didn't have the... Um, what do you call it? The, uh, what do you call it? The ridges on it. It was just a smooth body. So it was so cute to me. I loved it. But thank you, sis. Um, Etroy also says, yes, girl. I saw Clay on the couch. Stiff, girl. Like, why was he so stiff? Like, what are you doing? What is wrong with you? It was almost like he injured his back or something before he got on the show. Like, I don't know what was going on with him. Um... Queen B Jones 8404 says 16th. Hey, yummy. Hey, girl. Um, Natasha J's World Overcomer says, Hey, yummy. Hey, sis. The food looks good and happy Saturday, sis. Thank you. Happy Saturday to you, too. Um, Rose Miles 865 says, Happy Saturday. Enjoy your day and enjoy your meal. Looks great. Thank you so much. Y'all, uh, <laughs> My meal. Let's talk about it. <laughs> that wasn't my favorite um, meal that I cooked yesterday. The flavor was good, but it just, I don't know. It turned me off that the cheese wouldn't melt. Y'all, literally the cheese wouldn't melt. Not only did I not have a cheese pull, the cheese wouldn't melt. I'm like, I am never using that cheese again. Like, never. I'm going to always always shred my cheese y'all like that will never ever happen again but um and then i got some um ideas on how to do it differently next time somebody told me why didn't you just um like close them up on the top and then flip them over in the cupcake uh pan thing and i'm like dang why didn't i freaking think of that you know what i'm saying that would have been a really great idea i think i'm gonna implement that the next time i make them um Lady Croft says, hey, yummy. Hey, girl. Sis, you weren't playing. You said you were going to make those puffs, and you did. I know that's right. Your fit is so cute. Uh, thank you, girl. Uh, I love the color so much. Thank you. And it is not a color that I wear often at all. But I liked it, too. Um, I watched that little girl speech yesterday, and she cares so much about her education so I hope she's able to get back into school soon. I know. I know. Y'all, we got to pray for her, for real. Because, like, for some reason, they are working against her. Like, why would you do that? When you see how much somebody cares about their education, we do not see that a lot at all with, with kids. Like, you just don't see it a lot. Uh, Patricia 90, I'm sorry. Patricia 6041 says, happy Saturday. Happy Saturday, sis. Um, Mila Leggett 9890 says, happy Saturday. Happy Saturday to you too, sis. Um, Tulip Beautifully says, hey, sis. Hey, girl. Um, hey, catching up on your content today. 
I haven't been right since um, time change to daylight savings. Is that what's wrong with me? Because <laughs> I just, it's like I can't, I don't know. Something is not right. I don't know if it's that or what it is. But it's just um, different. Things are different. I don't even know what's different, but I know the time is most definitely. It's just I can't, I can't get with it. I don't even know how to explain it, y'all. Um, so that I haven't been right since the time changed to daylight uh, savings time. The Rasta Pasta has me intrigued as a fellow key keto er. Caffeine depletes the hell out of my electrolytes. Really. When I feel a cramp coming in my limbs and need potassium, I take a little coconut oil and pro. Thank you, sis. Thank you, girl. I got plenty of coconut oil. Okay. Thank you. Now, that's something simple I can do. You know what I'm saying? You say a little bit of coconut oil. Okay. So, I'm not the only one going through the potassium type of thing. So, okay. Coconut oil. I hope I freaking remember that. Uh, Joanna Aguilar 4961 says, you can copy the receipts, but you can't copyright the song while vlogging. Huh? What's the difference? Uh, you mean recipes? Is that what you meant? I, I. I don't know, sis. Um, Michael Store 198 uh sends red hearts. Thank you so much, Michael. Um, LaShawn 1901 says, Yummy bites. Thank you, girl. Uh Netta maybe says, maybe if you'd uh made it with the cornbread mix you use, it would have a fluffier base. T9, better imitate the puffs from the pizza place. Huh? Okay. Um, Deborah Cooper 4184 says, hey, yummy. Hey, girl. Uh, Love Child 6103 says, you should have corrected her, yummy. Uh, comb from the ends, please. Yeah, I know. You know how sometimes you be in the moment with something and, and like, I mean, I have, I've had problems with speaking up in the past and um, I've gotten better at it. Uh, yeah, that was, the, that was my fault, honestly, for not saying anything because sometimes I feel like if I'm just so upset about what somebody is doing, um... And I say something, it's going to come out the wrong way. Like, <laughs> you know, and that is don't be want no confrontation. And I don't want, like, the situation to, to be uncomfortable while I'm sitting there. Because I know myself, y'all. And I know if I would have said something, it would have come out very rude. Like, it would have been. <laughs> it would have been so rude because I was in freaking pain. Like, yeah, but I shouldn't have just let her do that. I shouldn't have. I should have said something. That's my fault, honestly. It really is. <laughs> you put some laughing emoji. <laughs> um, OMG Ye. Hey girl it says, body so given. Thank you, sis. Let me go check out Little Caesar's puffs. Nice video, Christy. Thank you, girl. Thank you so much. Let me know how you like those puffs. Because everybody like them from what I see. Um Love Child 6103 says, hey, you did a great job. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, Megan Saint sends a uh, red heart. Thank you, sis. Thank you so much. Thank y'all so much for um, commenting and interacting with the video. Um, make sure y'all are following me on Instagram and TikTok, okay? Um, follow me over on the vlog channel at Yummy Bites TV Behind the Scenes. And yeah, y'all, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do what? Thumbs up this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. For everyday videos. Everyday videos. Hey, uh, 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 uh. Hey, 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 uh, uh. And I will 
see you guys on tomorrow. Actually, no, I won't see y'all tomorrow because I'm off. Um, I'm going to see y'all on Tuesday. Okay? Peace. Y'all come back now. You hear? Bye, y'all. Love y'all.